We had a problem with your bike, but uh, we are putting it back together. We just have to put the shaft, to the drive shaft, and it should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Fall down from the truck. So. <laughs> Does it have the wheels? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. bikes at the first two 1200 GS liquid cooling to move around the world. We're in Laos and we're very very excited. I am Alessio, I live in Italy, I'm 34 years old, I come from Florence, which is in Tuscany. I work for a very big American company as a project manager and I really like and enjoy the riding on the GS, and, which is my bike as well. What's the model of, uh, of a GS you have in uh, Italy? I have the 1200 Adventure. Which year? Uh, 2011. 2011, okay. Yeah, I just changed it uh, recently. Okay, so you'll see this one is a bit different. It's a much lighter in the front and uh, much more forward. Wow. And uh, very well balanced. It's different bike, different uh, different dynamics. You know, different, uh, also the handling is... Handling is like a moped. You know, so wow. It's really a moped, but it's a powerful moped. Really, I didn't expect the ride of my life to be walking. This is a good start. I was in Trinidad and Tobago working, of course, when I decided, okay, let's have a break, let's go into the BNW community and uh, I saw the advertise on the community about the Tour of Your Life where I was able to be one of the five riders around the world and I said, well, why not, uh, let's apply for it. First I did the application online, I realized that was something big. I have this feeling because also the way the, the question were written in, in, the, in the online questionnaire was a bit, I mean, not the name, age and uh, your telephone number in case we will call you. I just did it without thinking that much. Uh, I choose Asia uh, as uh, my favorite and lucky me I'm here.
So, welcome to Laos, huh? Thank you. There's the beginning of the story. We're gonna arrange some sushi tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure about the fish. We're yeah, fishing, fishing in the Mekong River. It's my first time in Laos, of course, and uh, but I've been working in Thailand, so I was. That's why I choose Laos, because I was expecting Laos to be, let's say, somehow similar to, to Thailand. The difference is very huge, but at least uh, the landscape is still Asia, so the, the jungle, the, the, the people, the animals, and uh, in that time when I was in Thailand, I was really looking forward to have my bike with me and, and ride it in, in that place. Do you like this uh, three star Michelin uh, restaurant in Laos? Yes. Mm. It's uh, a yeah. Nouvelle Cuisine. Nouvelle Cuisine, yeah. Nouvelle Cuisine. Let's go to Nouvelle Cuisine. I'm meeting you guys. friend from Malaysia. Hey, how are you doing? Yes. Hey, hey, how are you? What's your name? Kamaro. Huh? Kamaro. Yeah, we've been uh, on the road for the last 30 days. And uh, how did you get the, the sticker of the One World One GS? Oh, copy. <laughs> <laughs> road, Dyna. And what and is that Enduro? Super Enduro? It changed the whole setting of the bike. Suspension, yeah. ABS, yeah. ASC, the okay. power, the mapping of the motor. Okay. Hello. On the water cool. Yeah. God damn! Man. God! <laughs> okay, come on, go on it, go on it. Jeez! <laughs> awesome. Can I? Yeah, of course. Yeah? It's not your should be suited, that's for yeah. you. <laughs> Can you. This is the best suit ever, you know? Yeah, this is the best. Yeah. Thank All right. you so Fantastic. much. What Fantastic. a We are on what used to be the uh, airstrip for uh, America, right? During the Vietnam Wars, yeah. and uh, Air America was the CIA uh, air company. So they were uh, flying to Laos with uh, some cargo, okay? And they were leaving Laos with different uh, again image with kind of cargo. different cargo. Yeah, <laughs> and they were landing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wow. is it. Can we ride through it? Yeah, we can. You will see. It's nice. Full throttle? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I found Laos a very nice country. Wild, pure. The people don't look for uh, tourism or uh, for those crappy things. They just live their life. 
and if possible they let you enjoy it with them. The bike is the universal language, you don't uh, you don't need to speak that much and you can uh, easily understand the people or let them understand you with the gesture, you know, and it's something uh, as an Italian I'm used to, to have. How much? My mother was passenger with his man at the time and he had a, a, two BMW so I was always uh, looking her going away with the bike with his man uh, Denmark Europe everywhere and uh, I said uh, why not having a BMW so I can join them from that day my motorbike uh, life has been changed totally I found uh, a different word which is the travelers I define me as a traveler even if I'm I don't have that much experience uh, because I really like to, to enjoy the riding and to be always in a different place. Uh, can be Italy, can be Laos, can be anywhere. Uh, the most important thing is to enjoy and to learn something from what you are experiencing. Shai. <laughs> this is unbelievable. They don't have anything and they give us something. In. It's like popcorn. <laughs> this is a popcorn machine. <laughs> good, very good. Din 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 no mama. Nang no. Nang no, nang kya. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. <laughs> deal. So now you see this is the dirt road. Okay. So we went to the junction. 
130 kilometers, only dirt road. And okay. it's up, down, uh, left, right. I don't use the bike to go work uh, because I simply think that it's not worth. It's not. Uh, it's not good for the bike. <laughs> so I I use it uh, traveling, and uh, it's my relief uh, valve for the normal day life. It's where I can uh, be myself. I can just uh, think about what I want. I don't have to be someone else uh, playing a role or acting as a, a manager or whatever it is. I mean, it, it makes me happy, it makes me feel like a, a child and uh, it takes out for me the, the child that is in me. So this is why I really like riding the bike. <laughs> Riding a bike is the trip itself. You don't have to be in your final destination to enjoy the holiday or the weekend or whatever it is. As soon as you start the engine, it's already holiday. And uh, it gives you a totally different experience. And uh, also the, the, the things that you can see from your helmet and the, the smell you can, you can feel just riding with the helmet are totally different from what you can feel in a car or in a plane or in a train. The rain is coming. There's two options. Okay. Because it's raining, so either we go back to Long Prabang and take a, a shorter and easy road, or we take our luck and go in this dirt road and maybe a bit muddy, but no, that's life. I have an umbrella in my bag. You have an umbrella? Yeah. Okay, so we can keep going. I think the, the, the riding experience has been the best of this uh, travel and uh, to travel like a bike like this one in a place like Laos where you can have uh, all the condition in one day it's really amazing that's going to be tricky because it's on the wrong side of the road but I really enjoy uh, the the dirty road from uh, Luang Prabang to the elephant camp because it was hard it uh, challenged my riding skills a lot and uh, in spite of that I, I think I really improved my riding skills because I've been uh, uh, humble enough to listen the suggestion of you Eric. And uh, putting in practice uh, those, uh, those tips, those uh, suggestions and uh, seeing that uh, I was able to do it in a safe condition and uh, I was able to take my bike because I, I treated this GS as my bike uh, up to here uh, safely and uh, with, uh, I mean, with a lot of fun. So let's go. You've done very well. This is one of the most technical things you can do on a bike. <laughs> I think you need a break.
Donc le projet du centre a été lancé il y a déjà quelques années puisque l'idée originelle à la base était d'accueillir le premier hôpital pour éléphants en Laos. Pour pouvoir financer euh, le programme de soins gratuits pour les éléphants, on a décidé d'ouvrir le site aux, aux visiteurs pour pouvoir faire entrer de l'argent et pouvoir euh, faire fonctionner les différents programmes vétérinaires sur le site. Ouais. On a créé le projet du centre de conservation à Sayabouri parce que 80% des éléphants domestiques viennent de la province de Sayabouri. Donc l'idée c'est d'être accessible par les cornacs et les éléphants. Ouais. Ouais. Mày hắc mà lẽo, tao này hết máy rồi. Kịp kịp nêu đấy. Oh oh oh. Maybe some pressure here. It's really the life of my life because uh, it has all the the right ingredients to be the best recipe. I mean, it has the GS, which is uh, the bike uh, I really like and I really like to enjoy. It's the new model, so it's a sort of, I'm proud to be on that bike because nobody has been on uh, yet. And uh, it's a BMW, so it's not just a brand, it's an attitude, GS attitude. It's a way of, uh, of traveling, it's a way of riding, it's a way to be a GS traveler. So, I mean, I'm proud to, to be the Italian BMW ambassador and uh, I'm really proud to represent BMW in this, so it's something huge for me. And uh, it's the ride of my life because uh, I found uh, a very nice team that has worked uh, really hard with me during those days. And, uh, I mean, they, they all uh, participate to make this trip the ride of my life. the right to the elephant and to the team. Okay! Chin chin! Chop chop! Chop chop! Chop chop! Chop chop! Chop chop!